province of Hanga and we are on our way to Gop Banyi, which is Thailand's most beautiful floating village. We are now at the pier called Ta Dan Pier. Yeah. And we are about to hop on a long tail boat, which will take around 30 minutes mm -hmm. to get to the floating village. I think we should get going because the boat guide took Ready? our bags and <laughs> yeah. waiting at the boat now. <laughs> <laughs> he really meant it when he said it would take a relaxing ride. <laughs> Finger. <laughs> my blood was dripping all over the long tail boat. I had to scrub it. <laughs> it was too graphic, so we didn't show you guys. But my new drone tastes blood. Yeah. Your Not old good. drone did too, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And we're here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Check in first, yeah. and then we'll explore the rest of the village. Yes. So they have check in at her home. <laughs> so we got a large room, and we're paying eleven hundred baht a night, roughly mm. around thirty dollars, thirty-three dollars. Yeah. So it's a deluxe double or twin room with balcony. Nice. We pay twelve hundred baht uh, for a private boat round trip from the pier to here. Mm -hmm. Which is around forty dollars. Yeah, less than forty dollars. I mean, you could pay a hundred baht per person if you wait at the pier, and then when there's enough people, they would go. But right now, there's not that many people coming, so it was better for us to have our own private boat to come yeah. here. It's safer because yeah. you don't know how long you're gonna wait yeah. for until the boat is yeah. full. Time is money, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> staying at the twin room with a balcony. The room is quite small but we'll still give you a quick little room tour. First we have our two beds. Nice and firm? Nice and firm and springy. <laughs> and then we have the ceiling fan here and there is also one more fan here because there is no AC in this room. It should get cooler at night. Yeah, I hope so. It's quite hot right now. <laughs> and they gave us some towels here. There is also a cute little vanity here with some water and some tissues. Here we have the washroom. It's a very basic washroom with the toilet, the shower, there's the mirror and a sink. It is a twin room with balcony, so let's check out our balcony. So this is the balcony that comes with our room so we can come here enjoy the view of Panga Bay and also probably have breakfast over there. They also have kayaks for you to rent. I think he said 300 baht per kayak which oh, is pretty good. Oh cool, mm -hmm. yeah. If we have time we should do it for the sunset. That would be nice. Go around the village. How long does it take do you know to kind of roam the island? Uh, half an hour. Oh. He said that Quick. majority of the restaurants are on this side mm -hmm. and in the middle is the, where all the souvenir shops are. So you can walk all the way from here and take some photos around the, the big rock. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, there's one restaurant here that opens too late. Guess what time is late? 6? 6, 6 p.m. <laughs> so majority of the restaurant here close at 4 p.m. Oh, so once the tours leave here, then they close. Yeah, because most people who come to Gok Banyi usually don't stay overnight. Mm -hmm. They come here on a day trip. That's why all these restaurants close so early. And the people who live on this island, they just eat at home, they cook at home. True, they wouldn't go out to yeah. eat. Let's go explore a little bit. Okay. It 
so pleasant just walking through this village. They have this solid concrete path that they built in the middle of the, the houses. And all these houses on stilts are very well built as well. They're all on like a cement concrete stilts. And they are very colorful. It's just, it just pleasant walking around here. So we're just looking for a place for lunch. Shops might be closed because it's 3.30. Mm. So we're gonna see what we can find to eat around here. I think we should go this way. So this is the start of the Market Street, which is the center of the, the village. village. So we'll walk down this way and see what is open. Most of the shops here are souvenir shops selling t-shirts and necklaces and some snacks. There are some artisan products, but a lot of them are kind of typical Thailand souvenirs here. So we're looking for food and they're so friendly. She's just taking us to a restaurant down this way. Oh. <laughs> 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 The grilled oh, chicken looks yeah, nice. Yeah, grilled right. chicken. Mm -hmm. They have made to order food as well. They have fried rice, um, pad kara pao, noodle soup. Uh, they even have som tam. Six and two little. Pun hai doi dai mai khap? Nai khap nai nai nai. Khap khap. We're just sitting in someone's living room here, <laughs> <laughs> waiting for food. And the uncle is just grilling away our chicken, and the auntie is just putting Making more the, skewers. Yeah, putting the chicken on the sticks. Mm -hmm. And on this corner, you see uh, they're getting ready to go fishing with all the fishing nets. And the son is just uh, chilling on the couch, playing on the phone. <laughs> so cool. I asked if I could uh, wash my hands and they brought us a bowl of water to wash my hands. <laughs> Very nice char to it. Chicken. Can I have a Ten baht each. Mm. What's ten baht? Thirty cents. Wow. We were speaking to the owner of the house here, and he was saying there are over 400 Muslim families that live in this floating village. And they have everything here. They have a small hospital. They have a school. They have a mosque. They don't have a bank, but there are ATM machines around. There's also a sign somewhere on the island that shares more about how Gapani came to be. So when we find that sign and learn more about the island, we'll share that information with you guys. You know what's crazy? Mm -hmm. He said he was born and raised in this village. And he said soon he will also die in this village. He will not leave this place. Because mm -hmm. um, when he went to the mainland, he didn't enjoy it. He doesn't like driving a bike or driving a car. He doesn't like the craziness. So he he and his family loves being in this village. That was only 160 baht. So cheap. It was so delicious. Oh, okay. Oh, why don't you choose one bed? เดี๋ยวเพิ่มอันนี้เป็นมุกแท้ค่ะเท่าไหร่ครับอันนี้ค่ะเท่าไหร่ครับอันนี้ค่ะเท่าไหร่ครับอันนี้ค่ะเท่
<coughs> ครับผมไม่เป็นไรใครเตะเมื่อกี้เตะแรงมากเลยพี่พี่ตอนนี้จะ Look at how colorful the school is it's pink green pink green and then the court is blue and yellow and orange I don't know I don't like the kids here Why they bully me they kick the ball yeah, at me I saw that <laughs> He said, uh, do you want to play soccer with them? <laughs> Me? Uh, I'm, I'm not very good. You can. You want to play? Yeah. Let's play with the fans. Hmm. Do you like the game? Is it big? Is it big? Is it big? Is it big? Oh, wow. 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 ไหนดูกล้ามดิไม่มีอ่ะไม่มีกล้ามโอ้ไม่มีมีแต่ไขมันเวลาติดผมจะไม่บีเลยไหนดูซิแม่นี่ไม่บีโอ้วันแตกแล้วพี่อ่ะมีไหมลองต่อยหน่อยกล้ามมีแต่ติ๊กเด็กไม่มีแล้วทำไมอ่ะไม่ไม่เตะบอลตรงสนามที่มันลอยได้อ่ะมันตกครับเลยพวกเราไม่ค่อยไม่อยากดูดน้ำครับ Do you understand that? They're not playing at the floating uh, field because they don't want to go swim in the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go for that. Bye bye. bye. Those are real chatty kids. Look, punks and the dumb fat. <laughs> What? How dare him! Alana, <laughs> they want to know if we're sleeping here tonight. They they want to know everything. Where you're from? How what, old we are? Yeah. How we met? How much you weigh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy kid. The soccer team here is quite famous. Fun Yi FC. You mean the football club? Yes. Soccer, <laughs> football. Same, same. No, no. Don't no. hit me. <laughs> yeah, and that's the floating soccer field. I also read online that the youth football club here has won multiple awards in like, or championships in Southern Thailand. No one is playing here right now though, but we'll go down and check it out. Feel the uh, champion vibes down there. <laughs> You see how they were building the house there? Yeah. So in order to build one, you have to get like the raw materials mm. from the mainland. And this is how they transport all the wooden planks. Yeah, they have to bring everything from the mainland yeah. to come here. Lots of work <laughs> to do any renovation around here. So I couldn't find the sign that would tell us more history about Kapanyi, but I did find it on Google. So it says that it is a Muslim floating village that was created about 200 years ago by three fishing families from Java in Indonesia. They were looking for a good location with lots of fish and when they found this sheltered spot by this high rock here, they put a flag right at the top. So people from their hometown would be able to find the new settlement and come and join them at this floating village. Is that cool? Yeah, and Panji means flag. Oh, so it's Flag Island. Yes. This is why those kids play at that field. They're <laughs> smart. <laughs> See, like, uh, I was gonna jump in there and get the soccer myself, but then they told me not to because there's a lot of jellyfish at the moment. It's jellyfish season. That's but why they're taking the kayak. Yeah, but local people can actually, they, they don't mind because their skin is used to the jellyfish. They're not uh, sensitive to it yeah. anymore? Yeah, but they said my skin is way too sensitive for the jellyfish. Young skin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're just waiting for that guy to go and get the soccer ball for us. 
so it seems like there's nothing much to do here after 6 p.m. aside from play soccer. So that's what Note's gonna do, and I'm just gonna take it easy. We will see you tomorrow morning. here. <laughs> I'm really glad we decided to stay overnight here to get a glimpse into what local life is like on the floating village. We recommend you to do the same but because it is a Muslim community just make sure to be respectful of their culture and dress appropriately. So we're just gonna finish our breakfast and start packing and heading back to Gosamui. Thank you again for watching. Hope you enjoy Got Panyi as much as we did. As always, have a wonderful day. Bye bye. bye. เวลาเวลาสับสไครป์เราต้องบอกทุกคนในหมู่บ้านให้สับสไครป์ด้วยนะสามร้อยกว่าเครือเรือนไอ้ I think water is precious here. precious here so you should drink it afterwards too we'll just ask the uncle to heat it up make it into soup อย่าลืมกดซับสไครป์ to follow and note เน่